Yes. But like Sierra, she give her prime, her best tight skin. And obviously not Sierra specifically because yeah. Sierra look good. But yeah, you know, yeah. other women, like they give your best tight skin yeah. to the men that you wouldn't want to be a husband. And then you turn around and give your husband what's left. Like no disrespect, but yeah, like we yeah. all know our titty long half away, our body, you know, it's just, it's not the same. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So what I don't know, Sarah One Nation and I'm Mara Nation. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, ladies and gentle G's. And again, right beside of me, the lady that's causing all the problems. Do doom. I just what I should get. I should get some some drum roll. The lady who is pissing everybody off. Do doom. The lady who is the thorn in the side of all these modern day women that are entitled. The one and only Chantel Simo. Greeting, I come in peace. <laughs> yes, she come in peace. You understand what I say? Yes, and we're not going to leave here with no peace because Chantel is a public enemy number one right now. You understand what I say? On all platforms. Why? What's going on? Listen, I'm the sweetest person. Am I not the sweetest person you know? Uh, yes, I, yes, I can agree. I can agree. But the people that we are pissed off, <laughs> I don't know, man. I think maybe they should listen to men more because I'd see the men agreeing with you. Yeah. yeah i think if you get triggered it's a reason because whoever the when you throw your stone in a hog pen whichever the hog squeal out hey, so hey. i am the sweetest person i sweetly throw my stone in a hog yeah. pen and hey daintily <laughs> throw it and then my bottle oh! <laughs> so, yo so chantel what do you work with upon the review side of things you understand what i say what do you with the reviews um i, I haven't watched it Did you, you watch it mm -mm. okay so it's perfect so only genuine reactions over here, ladies and gentle tees. We're going to dive right into the video. Um, the caption said, would you want your son to be more like Russell Wilson or Future? Ooh. Let's get it. If you had a son, would you want him to grow up more like Russell Wilson no. or Future? No, 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 no. Both, no. I'll wait, 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 wait. Let me stop it right there. So. You want us to answer first or answer after them? Let's answer first. I want my son to be like Russell Wilson. I would say Russell Wilson too. Why? I'm like him more stable, in, yeah, you know, yeah. family man stuff. Yeah, like yeah. I can trust that. Okay, definitely. Uh, and, and we can see future. He's contributing to you know the downfall of black parenthood. You know we have him. contribute to a lot more single parent moms. You see me. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. as a youth, I grew up in our single parent household. It's not a fun time. You understand yeah, what I say? Yeah. So Russell Wilson him definitely. I forgot to do better. I mean mm -hmm. future. I forgot to do better. Both now. I would throw my shoe. Or I would <laughs> Russell Wilson or Future. Which one would you want? Him I would to rather him be like Future. Okay, who would you rather your da uh, your daughter date, That's Russell crazy. Wilson or Future? <laughs> Pause that. You see, we have no one. You see, you see, no. As as men, we gotta we gotta sometimes wanna think just as illogical as woman brother. The, the dog pause, you know. Before the, see when the man ask him, who you prefer your son to be like? Him answer quick. The man's are quick, but the man I see yo, we are rather, we are rather your daughter did. Like yo, you thinking now, yeah, huh? You thinking yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. When your when your daughter coming at the equation, now you got thoughts. Yes, exactly. What do you think about that? I know when you bring it personal, it's easy for you to generalize and say, "Oh, Russell Wilson is the same." But yeah. when you say, "Would you rather your daughter be?" I know for sure my daughter better be with Russell Wilson. Hey, if any man say more than daughter, they would future, bro. <laughs> you are a bum, bro. You are. I don't even know if future would I want him daughter to be like somebody. Like I'm saying, but anyway, go continue. I would actually, Why did you I think? Would, because there's there's pros and cons to both. I would answer the I, question. If I gave a why, I would want her to date a future, because it takes for you to date a future to even get a Russell. Oh. No, because I had my husband first and went left. Wait, 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 wait. Think about that. Him said it take for you to to be with a future in order to get a Russell. So so basically, him feel like say she forgot you. Some traumatic experiences, get impregnated, you know, get everything you come with a future. Basically, go through hard times, touch a stove and find out same at before you can second down with a Russell Wilson. That's, That's what he's saying? Yes. Yes, it's like you have to suffer first before no, you can. That is no, BS. no, 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 no. A groom grew up like that. Yeah. Brother, yeah. that's not a, that don't have yeah. to be a reality. No. A girl can find a man, a good man from the jump. This thing about and and it's a reality for a lot of women 
them give them best years to some goofy and then later on them settle down with the square at the time you understand but Every woman now have to touch a stove for find out it. It's like you have to kiss a thousand frog to get a prince. No, not, you don't have no. to. Learn you from other people's mistakes. Exactly. Yeah. When I say, only a fool... No, I'm, not, I'm not going to butcher that quote. I don't even remember. So I, I think up. I know what you're saying, though. I yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Nicole. <laughs> Go continue, ready? I also had to come back, too. Oh. Uh-uh. I had to be... But I had to come down. A lot of women need to be broken. That makes sense, but that wasn't the question. He's been there, but that was nice. A lot of women need to... Okay, so that so that's about it then. So he saw so when he was saying a lot of women need to be broken. If you had a son, would you want him to grow up more like Russell Wilson? No. Our future. No, 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 no. But I would throw my shoe. Or at, I would. <laughs> Russell Wilson, our future. Which one would you? I would prefer? rather him be like future. Okay, who would you rather your da- uh, your daughter date, that's Russell crazy. Wilson or future? <laughs> he f- you up. I would actually, Why did you I think? Would, because there's there's pros and cons to both. I would answer the question. If I gave a why, I would want her to date a future because it takes for you to date a future to even get a Russell. What? No, because oh. I had my husband first and went and left somewhere else and had to come back to him. Oh. Uh-uh. I had to be. A lot of women need to be broken. That makes sense, but that wasn't the question. But that was nice. A lot of women need. A lot of women don't need to be. A, a lot. I'm so sorry. That's a yeah. toxic. That's that. That's yeah, that mindset. Yeah. We think, oh, you have to struggle. Yeah, dude is toxic. And then that's why them kick them kids out at 18 because your kids have to struggle. That's that. Yeah. That's that limited mindset. I'm disagree. Yeah. A hundred percent. I don't agree with him, that brother. Yeah, I don't agree with him, and and it's cool to disagree. But I wouldn't want my daughter to be dating a future. Because a lot of these women that date future, they never have a father for show them what a man is supposed to do or what a man is supposed to be. So they feel like they need to be broken and then you now 35, 40, they feel like now we want Prince Charming. When time are the oodling them, we did I talk to? No. And some of them got breed for the oodling them. Yeah, and then now my boy therefore take care of future youth. No. And that kind of unfair, unfair to Russell Wilson. Now, Russell Wilson should I get Sierra in her prime before her titty yeah. them start long. Yeah, see me. Or not even that before she get another man in her womb. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this is why me, yo, I'm not gonna lie. No, no, I'm not gonna date no single mother. Maybe later on in life when you know I get more mature and more tolerant. But no, if me pick up a girl, I will start my legacy. Yes, sir. And I think a lot of times we don't think about it from men's perspective because pregnancy really alters your body, you know. Yeah, okay. And it's different when a man can look on your body and say, "Oh, yeah, you know, you have the stretch mark, you have the yeah, loose skin yeah, because yeah. you gave my give me my seed." Yes, yes. But like Sierra, she gave her prime, her best tight skin, and obviously not Sierra specifically because yeah. Sierra look good. But yeah, you know, yeah. other women like they give your best tight skin yeah. to the men that you wouldn't want be a husband and then you turn around and give your husband what's left like no disrespect but yeah, like we yeah. all know our titty long half away our body re- you know it's just it's not the same yeah and a lot of men don't have a problem with that but a lot of men do a lot of men would feel better knowing that his child caused that alteration on your body than somebody else you understand and yeah. a, a man like a future yeah a man like a, imagine imagine a man like a, like, imagine me Russell Wilson live my life upright all the days of my life only if I take care of future youth because him tell Sierra saying I worry about future and child support mm-hmm, though mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you're taking care of another man's seed so why why should I wh- why should I deserve that why my legacy can start yes so with me and you Man, and, and this is not Come on, some of the emotional. This is not a it out against single, I was just about single to say moms. That. It's I was not. just about to say. Not to say single moms don't deserve love or anything. Y'all do. But, but there is a different perspective yeah. to the conversation. Like he would have never fear if my mother got some woman now, right? Divorce. She and my father divorce. And then now another man have to take care of me. That's not fear. That's not fear. Even even though I mean my take care of it's not fear. It's not. Him, him should have taken the resources that have fit a bill for him family. And that's why I say, man, I read future because future contribute to single parent household. We another man, I forgot to pick up your slack and deal with a woman where you traumatize. 
I spoke with someone the other day and he said that he married his ex-wife and she had two kids from somebody else's from another marriage and he put those two kids through college and they divorced now and right now he hardly speaks to his the two kids that he because it was a step kid so you know of course he divorced the woman and you lose can you imagine putting these kids through college and then not talk to you and them not really talk because they divorced their mother and it's not like say it was a bad divorce it was just like hey it's not working out let's wow all that resources he put in these kids school because they i guess he got married to their mom when they were like young and they were married for like 14 years so you know they went through college and everything so all that resources you spend only to <sighs> can you imagine you put two penny through college and them don't talk to you now that's what i mean i said nobody got school but myself if my dad was a woman and she dunce and me and my dunce girl this come and i said i got school for your blood clot come and tell me say you're not attracted to me no more because i'm a dunce you understand me? i said so i better you dunce <laughs> <laughs> I bet you don't in a relationship, mama. Are your kids them? They are gonna stay don't. Come and I have been I send them kids to go school. Me send them to kindergarten and primary. Cause that's not really expensive. You understand me? I say what high school you have to call them father. College you have to call them father. I mean I say nobody go to school. You mad? It's like you're spending money for another man's legacy. Yeah, you're, you're investing in somebody else's business. Imagine if you start your business and you're investing in somebody else's business. Are you not getting no return? From no the return. Them father get no return. Them father say, well, yo, look at my youth. He's my bachelor. And they never spend one dime in sending these kids to school, but he's my iPad for the youth and with a bachelor. That's crazy. So, some women who have kids, you don't understand. <clears throat> it is not a hit out against you know, when a man says, I want to date a single mother. It's a lot of things you have to factor in. Because you don't already want him to take care of you. So now he must take care of another man youth. We are going to shell out resources. We are not going to see no return. Maybe the type of woman you are, maybe he can see some return off of you. If you are also minded, you are business minded and business savvy. Maybe. But he's just... I better go gamble to Vegas yeah. to me. Yeah. Stepfathers get none of the praise. None. And, they, they, and it's going to be triggering. So hold on. Stepfathers, I think, take a lot more than the moms because with the moms, at least you know that's your child. Yes. So at least you know you obligated, you 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 have the kid. But stepfathers take on the responsibility of the child, so they're doing way more because they don't have to. It's not their seed. They don't. You can't ever ask them for a kidney if yeah, needed because yeah. it's not your blood. That's true. And and you gotta go above and beyond to try to win these kids over. You know, you have to go above and beyond for make the mom let you in. Yeah. They have to go above and beyond for win the respect of these kids or just for even them give basic respect. So it's like, it's a, I don't reckon, listen, all of the young man them, take it from me. Start your own family. If you're going to be a stepdad, do that to you, a big man, past 35. Don't do that to you, a teenager and in your early 20s to 30. That's a, at them age there. With that gap, 19 to 30, that are your building years right there, sir. No matter what they tell us, say, oh, that's your fun time. No, no, no fun time. At them time, they're supposed to build because I'm building right now. When we should have building in my 20s. Right now, we should have up on the beach alone right now with a fat cigar in my hand. Yeah, right now. Quite possible. If me they apply myself, no, I got to apply myself right now. So don't nobody tell us, say, oh, have fun in your 20s, brother. You can have fun all of your life, brother. Build right now. And before we end the video, Chantel, give us some closing remarks. Give us that because Chantel is the vice of reason, you know. Can people them see you? Bring back Chantel, bring back Chantel. <laughs> Chantel, tell you some one thing when them can leave with the right hand right now, where them can use to better themselves. Coming from a woman. Coming from a woman. One thing I always say, think ahead, right? Like think five, ten years from now because we make decisions too much in our emotions and too quick like, yeah, yeah, I feel a woman. She have three picnic, but my feel I like think I had like, you know, like yeah. 20 years from and for females is the same. You know, yeah, yeah, have a few Chinese my you know, I drive round top down, yeah, I feel nice lifestyle, but him already have 10 picnic with six different baby mother. Like, oh, sis, mm. you not going to change him, right? Yeah. So like, no. it's sometimes we have to remove our emotions from certain thought process and think through them logically so definitely and if you can take what she said or me said and apply it to life you're just born for dead no no, no i'm not even being funny you're just born for dead because if you can't apply 
the some basic things, basic instructions, you're just living to die, bro. So please, may I tell you all I'm a gen- all our all I'm a G's them, all I'm a general them, just think ahead. Mm-hmm. You don't know say one nation and I'm our nation. Yo, it's been uh real and Make sure you go over Chantel Simone channel. It'll be in the title and in the description. Tagged in the title, link in the description. Check her out. One Nation and MR Nation. Not move. But <laughs> a big man levels, I don't know why they're not going. <laughs> why they don't go home? Like big man, is it, is it, is it cool here or something? Why they're still here? <laughs> go home, no one.